Hey kindergarten, today we're gonna to do another foundations lesson and in this lesson we're gonna focus on our digraphs. So let's get started with our sounds and let's focus on our digraphs today. W, H, whistle, W. S, H, ship, sh. T, H, thumb, th. C, H, chin, C, K, sock, K. Very nice. Next thing I want to do is practice reading some words that have digraphs in them. You're going to start seeing these words in all of your schoolwork, and they can sometimes be a little tricky to notice, so it's really important to pay attention that if you see one of our digraphs, you make a mental note, a note in your brain, that that's not two sounds, it's just one. Like in this word. I see it's K, I, C, K. Like, C, K, sock, K, and that's always at the end, so this makes sense. So let's tap out this word, K, I, K, remember C, K, sock, K, so K, I, K, K, I, K, K, I, K, kick. This word is kick. You might kick your legs in the water if you're swimming. Here's another word you might see with a digraph in it. Can you see where the digraph is? It's at the beginning. It's TH thumb. Now sometimes the TH digraph is a little tricky because we normally say TH thumb. But you might also hear kind of like a V sound for V. So V at. V at. V at. That. The word is that. Like, I like that shoe. I see another digraph here. Do you see it? It's S H. It's at the end for S H ship sh. S H ship sh. G ash. G ash. G ash. Gash. We learned that a gash is like a big cut. Hmm. See the digraph? It's at the beginning. It's WH for WH whistle. It's just like the regular W sound, there's just an H at the end. Whoop, op, whoop, op, wop. You might be thinking that this is a nonsense word, and most of the time it is. However, sometimes the word wop can be used to make a noise. It shows, it's like a word for a noise. So wop is like a wop. It's a noise. Last one has two digraphs in it. Can you see them? One's at the beginning and one's at the end. TH thumb is at the beginning. CK sock K is at the end. In the middle is a vowel to connect them. So let's tap it out. Ick, ick, thick, thick. This word is thick. It's the opposite of thin. This would be thin. This is thick. Thick is a bigger term. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to help us write in some words with digraphs in them. So make sure you're paying attention. If you are at home, you'd like to get a piece of paper and pencil, a dry erase board, crayon, a marker, something to write with, and you can write these words with me and then check them out and check your work when I show them you mine. Okay, if we were in school today, oh, I bet we might want to use a orange marker. It's a rainy day here and orange always brightens up me up. Okay, so if you're at home and you're following along, you can practice writing these words too. The first word we're going to tap and spell is chop. Let's say chop. Chop. Now let's tap it out. Uh, now let's tap and spell. Ch. Oh, that's C H chin ch. So ch. C H O O P. P. C H O P. Your turn, right chop, and then you can check your work with my chop. You ready to check your work? Chop. 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 Ch. 
Okay, I'm gonna erase chop. Our next word we're gonna write is duck. First, let's say duck. Duck. Now let's tap it. D, a, k. Hmm. Now let's tap and spell. D, d, a, a, u, k. Oh, there's c. There's that k sound at the end. So it's not just c. It's not just k. It's gonna be c k. Go ahead and write duck, and then we'll check your work. You ready? D, a, k, duck. Remember, make sure your D bump is facing the left, like a lowercase d, so it's not a B, because that would make this word buck instead of duck. All right, your next word is ship. We learned that the Titanic was a large ship. So let's say ship, ship. Now let's tap it out. Sh, i, p. Hmm. Let's tap and spell this time. Sh, s h, i, i, p, p. Tap and spell ship. Write it down, and then we'll check our work. Ship. Now, in order to check your brains, I want you to change your word ship to the word shop. Let's tap out both of those words and see which letter has to change. Ship. Sh. I. P. Shop. Sh. A. P. The middle sound changed from I to A. So I would change my I to an Ah, ah, that's O. Oh. Sh, ah, p, sh, ah, shop. Okay, our, we have two more words. The next one is chin. This is your chin. So say chin. Chin. Now let's tap it. Ch, i, n. Let's tap and spell. Ch. That's a digraph. Do you know which one? Ch, c, h. Eh, n, ch, eh, n. So C H E I N N. Right chin, all right chin, and then you can check your work. Ch, e, n, chin. And please notice how I'm using the skyline, plain line, grass line, and sometimes even the word line. All right, last word. And this word is whiff. Now this might be a sight word because it happens so frequently in our reading, but it's also a word that we can now sound out since we know our digraphs. So let's say whiff, whiff. Now let's tap whiff out. Woof, i, f, woof, w, i, i, f. Oh, th thumb, so w, i, th. Go ahead and write it, and I'll write it, and we can check your work. Here is my word, with. 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 Awesome. The last thing we're going to do today is practice three new uh, trick words. Trick words are sight words. So there's a lot of different ways. You can call them high frequency words. Sometimes in kindergarten we call them pop words. I've called them red and green words before. So trick words are just basically sight words that you see all the time. Except they don't follow the letter rules. They break a lot of them. So they're really hard for us to sound out, which is why we have to memorize them and keep them in our brain. It's because you can't sound them out, but they happen so often that it's good for us to just know them so we don't have to waste all that time sounding out words that we should just know by looking at them. So we have three new words today. And these words all end with the same letter and sound, so they rhyme. I'm gonna get a different marker color. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna use a green because from all this rain, all the plants are turning very green. Oh, my green marker's not working. I'll try a different green. Here are three new trick words. We, she, 
and he. They all end in e and they all rhyme. We, she, he. Do you notice anything about one of these words? Do you see any digraphs? S H ship sh is in the word she. So I wrote a sentence with our, one of our new trick words. Let's read it together. We went home. If you're at home right now following along, you could take the second to copy this on a piece of paper and pencil and then circle the trick word, or you can air circle the trick word to follow along with us in our video. So do you see the sight word? I do. I see W E we. And I notice the W is an uppercase W because it's the first word in our sentence. We went home. I also see W E here, but there's nt after that. So that means it can't be we, so it doesn't count if it's a part of a bigger word. We went home. And the trick word is W E we. I'm going to erase this sentence and write a new sentence with one of the other new sight words or trick words we learned. Okay. She went home. Do you notice where our sight word is? It's at the beginning again. S H E she. Now she rhymes with we, but this has two letters here for S H ship sh. So remember it starts with that digraph. And when you start a sentence with a digraph, only the first letter is uppercase. The second letter is just like any other letter in your word in your words or sentence. I'm gonna write one more sentence. Again, if you're home, you can write these down on a piece of paper and circle both sight words, or you can air circle to follow along with our video. Done. He went home. He is our new trick word or sight word. H E he. Remember, it's an uppercase H only because it's the first word in the sentence. So, who went home today? Well, he went home. She went home. And we went home. If you're looking for extra practice with our three new trick or sight words, you can look for them in books, you can look for them in newspapers and magazines, you can practice writing them all over the place. Just look for W-E, we, S-H-E, she, or H-E, he. Thanks for joining us today for Foundations, and I'll talk to you guys later.